this, a fairly legal brat who looks at most of drag queens doing drag for the first time, and that's an offense to the drag queen. Hey, you came into my house. If you want any help, you better watch. I'm okay, okay. But yes, I am still here. I can't really leave if I wanted to. The one I'm trying to find isn't exactly the type to forget about a spirit who tried to get rid of him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you even talking about? Actually, you know what? Why should I even care? Okay, okay, well, hear me out. Just... No! I said no. Listen, how old was it? Actually, it's how. I told you I can't. It's impossible. I don't know anything about this place, and honestly, you can just find someone better than me. Kimmy, you don't understand. All of Vietnam is in danger, and you're the only one who can help me since you're the only one who can see me. You have the amulet, which means that you have the power to not only free, but see the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm? How can I believe anything you say? Hear me out, okay? You better sit down for this. I need to tell you the history of this place, the, the city of your family, Poyan, and why I've been stuck here for so long. Jeez, sorry. It's not my boy, it's not like my dad. Hush now. This is the story of the very first Lantern Festival. Long ago, our ancestors wanted to celebrate the lives of those before them and honor the legacy that gave them the opportunities to live their peaceful lives in the city of Wyoming. Thus, this city became the birthplace of the Lantern Festival as a celebration of your ancestors. The lanterns represent many things. It was a symbol of love, happiness, and fortune, but also serves as a relic, an icon of remembrance for our ancestors. Wait, so this Lantern Festival in Hoi is about our ancestors and serves as an event to remember them? Yes and no. It is also an event of peace and reconciliation. Those still in the mortal world light the lanterns to wish their ancestors' spirits peace into the afterlife. Okay, so where is the danger? Here's where the bad part comes in. There was once a family with a loving wife, caring father, and charming son. The wife loved to participate in the lantern festival and would frequently volunteer down by the river. One day, a terrible accident struck the city and a tragic death befell the wife. The father was grieving the loss of his wife and was swallowed by anger. He took that anger out on his son and swore that the family will never be allowed at the festival ever again. <laughs> so late at night, the young son took, snuck out towards the end of the festival to have a closer look at the bright lights that floated away. Upon his arrival, he bumped into a friend that told him, This light is to remember my family that has already passed. My mom and dad told me it's important to remember all your loved ones and those before. Upon hearing that, the little boy became sadder and went back home. When he came home, his father was in a rage. What did you mean, boy? Father, I wanted to see the lights for my child. <laughs> the father slapped the boy and told him if he was ever to leave the house again, don't ever bother coming back. Confusion, anger, and jealousy overcame the young soul. <laughs> As he got older, an evil spirit saw the broken soul and latched itself onto him. Eventually, that darkness took hold of him, creating the evil spirit we know now. Stricken with anger and malice, he swore to inflict the same crime he had been dealt onto other families. Day by day, he swept from city to city, manifesting his spirit in the hearts of families, dishing out his own justice as he saw fit. Being the judge and executioner, he cast dark shadows upon families, vanishing any remnants they had of their ancestors. As days passed, his sinister plan was finally proving effective. Forgotten spirits came in droves, and with each passing night, a new herd of malevolent spirits came to join him, and his name was Bao Min. I'm Bao Min. <laughs> Needs you, but most importantly, your people need you. No, you don't. 
It is someone that cares about this place and about their ancestors. Why should I care about ancestors I know nothing about? And the country filled with people who speak a language I can't understand. Do you have any idea how it feels like to wonder even if your own ancestors understand anything you say? They're a part of who you are, Vietnamese. You can't change that about you. And just let me help you learn about that part of you. It's not too late to learn about being Vietnamese. Language is one of the many ways to connect us to our heritage. Why don't we do this? While you're here, I'll show you the true beauty of Hoi An, and then along our journey, you can decide whether or not you want to help me. I am picking a probing on teas or a spirit from an amulet with warm fashion taste. I guess that wouldn't be too bad. Plus, it will keep me busy while I'm here for so long. How are you even going to talk to me, though? I'm not sure. It might have something to do with you and that amulet. You are the one that opened it. Besides, maybe this way you can learn a little Vietnamese along the way. Now, get changed, brush your teeth, and let's hop onto the road. It's 5 a.m. Who would be out this early? No better way to start the day than bright and early like the locals. Yeah, I know. 